Hey guys, just want to hop on really quick uh, before the episode. Um, this week we got Mia Maples on the podcast. Um, she's Jenna's favorite YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, makes great videos. And, uh, you know, I thought it'd be good to have her on, talk about stuff, you know? It's always good talking to people who, uh, you know, aren't really in my YouTube circle. So it was cool. We had a good time. Um, also, sorry, there's a there's a bonus episode up this week as well. Um, I uh, I made contact with Neil Breen, okay? And uh, so I talk about that a little bit on there, and it's a... Uh, he's an interesting man, I will say that. So if you want to hear me talk about uh, my conversation with Neil, you can check out the Patreon, uh, and it's just a great way to support the podcast. So, um, yeah, enjoy the episode. See ya. Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my podcast. <coughs> Good start, I already, have, <coughs> I already have a cough. Um, We got a guest today, guys, for episode 152. This is sort of the iconic episode. Everybody knows that 152 is the big number, you gotta get a good guest. So, I got my friend, I'll say friend, sure, <laughs> Uh, Mia Maples, give it up, everybody. (laughs) Applauding Uh, myself. (laughs) Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that was, you know, it's not easy going on a podcast. You should, uh, you should give it up for yourself. Um, so how's your day going? My day's going good. Honestly, I've just been like running around the studio trying to make sure everything's charged and ready to go and like I'm happy to be finally (laughs) sitting here because honestly my heart was like beating out of my chest before this I was like so nervous I've never been on like a podcast before oh really no I've been invited onto podcasts but I'm always like no I can't do it I'm too scared oh wow so this is this is this is monumental this is a this is a this is rare, you know? This is my it's, podcast debut. Wow. That's exciting. I feel, well, I mean, thanks for, uh, you know, choosing mine to be the first one. It's good to start um, at the very bottom, and then you can only get better from here. <laughs> I don't so. think so. I think this will be my, this will be the first and only, like, this is it. I've already reached the top now. <laughs> it's just the whole thing is too stressful. <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm honestly, I'm gonna like die at thirty if I keep this up. <laughs> that's the that's the dream, right? <laughs> um, well, I just um, I I will preface this, I guess. It is. I feel like we occupy very uh, different sides of um, of YouTube, um, so it's always cool to talk to people who do because um, we do have the same job essentially, but we do very different things on there. Um, so it's always interesting to talk about, talk to other YouTubers about their, their process and all that stuff. Cause it's very interesting to me. I don't know if it's interesting to other people, but it doesn't matter because it's my podcast. Um, it's very, that might've turned some people <laughs> off. I'm, I'm sorry, but, um, I did have just so aggressive for no reason. Um, I had some questions about your videos and stuff, if that's cool. Yeah, for sure. I don't know, like, I don't know what enticed you and Jenna to watch my videos, but I'm, like, so happy, whatever it was. I would honestly be very interested to know what... Oh, yeah, brought- okay. I want to know, like, what video did you guys see first? Because I remember when I first went to Jenna's account, I was going to follow her, and it was, like, follow back, and I was, like... <laughs> like, what? Right. Because I feel like our videos are very different, so I was, like, they watch me? Like, I was, like, oh, my god. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, okay. I guess I will say this too to start it off. You are Jenna. You're my Jenna, my girlfriend. You are Jenna's like favorite YouTuber, basically. Um, and you guys are also like homies. Um, yes, definitely but, homies. Like I talk to Jenna more than like outside of my family. I talk to Jenna the most. I was <laughs> wow. literally talking to her yesterday. Dang. <laughs> I never talked to her, so that's crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, I forget what video it was. I don't know if it actually... Because she started watching you before I did. Um, and she was like, there's this... There's a YouTuber that I like. And then we watched one of your videos. And I was like, I forget which one it was. But I was like, dang. That seems like... <laughs> It's cool. You always have really creative ideas. I will, uh, I'll say that, you know, I'll, thank you. I'll suck up a little bit just to get out of the way. It's whatever. Um, you also have creative videos. I oh, know sh- it's just- shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Enough of that. I, that's not what I, I saw was like the Barbie versus Bratz and I didn't even watch it. Cause I was like, I know you're going to be into Bratz. Like I was like, I just had a feeling yeah. and I was always, I always watched the Barbie ones. <laughs> you were a Barbie girl. I was. Barbie and like, world, actually the funny story about it is I had like the, uh, I think it's called like the princess and the pauper or something. And our car got stolen. Okay. And I remember they stole like everything out of the vehicle. And then when we finally got it back, like the police brought it back, they had like joy rode it through like a field or something. And then we finally oh, got it back man. and my dad like opens the front door and looks and on the seat was my princess and the pauper DVD. <laughs> And I was like, no way. they got no taste. They steal everything <laughs> except the except princess movie. <laughs> they even gave the car back. And yeah, they literally. Steal that. Yeah, That's it like so broke funny. in the field. They just had to run. <laughs> oh, dang. Was it, was it like in the case still or just the disc? It was in the case. Like they had stole everything, I think, to like resell it. But oh, they were like, man. this is worthless. And I was like, okay. Yeah ouch like yeah that that hurts more than getting the car stolen i think i know they also had not stolen like i had those like remember them like hollister lip glosses they also didn't take that oh dang well i mean (laughs) well if it was if it was a bratz movie they probably would have taken it i'll say that yeah that's what i was thinking i was like oh my gosh i don't even know i feel like they probably would have i did have a yeah that movie was that video, I had a lot of, uh, not a lot of backlash, but uh, a fair amount of people being like, you didn't even watch the best Barbie movie, <laughs> which was, I think, Princess and the Popper, I think. I think that was the it, one it that they were It is a really saying. good one, yeah. Maybe I'll have to do another one, but. A part two, for sure. Yeah. Um, Anyway, yeah, sorry. That? Yeah, sorry. Oh, I just yeah, like right. totally like took that and just <laughs> my car got stolen. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, how long ago was? That? I guess you said you were a kid, right? Yeah, I was like ten, so like twelve years right. ago. I just remembered right. it, and then when I saw the video, I was like, it like re unlocked that memory. <laughs> um, I my family's car got stolen once too. Uh. So that's cool. I think that's like a rite of passage. Uh, you got to get your, your family car stolen at least once, right? <laughs> um, definitely. It, it definitely, like, it makes you more worldly. Yeah. Like nothing's safe, yeah. not even in your own driveway. Exactly. Yeah, ours was stolen right out of our driveway too. It's crazy. And you'd think you'd Same. hear it. You'd think you'd hear your car being stolen. But, like, you wake up and it's just... It's gone, and the only thing left is a fucking Barbie DVD. I know. It's ridiculous. And actually, like, it was shame on us, because Tate had left the keys to our vehicle, like, on the driver's seat, unlocked. So I was like, honestly, oh. thank you for teaching us a lesson. Yeah, what the <laughs> hell? Okay, that's... Your car didn't get stolen then. Got I taken. wouldn't use that word. It was simply used. <laughs> yeah, Your car true. was used. <laughs> Honestly, that happens all the time. Like, not even, uh, not even like two months ago, we had like all of our ski stuff in the back of the vehicle. My dad just left it unlocked, and someone broke. Well, didn't break in. They literally just opened the back and opened stole the door, everything. Yeah, That's... and I'm just like, what are we expecting? Right. I know it's like you don't you don't want to blame the victim of stuff, but at that point, it's like, you know, you're just sort of you're inviting it, right? That's like I entrapment. My dad, honestly, yeah. You know, we hold it over his head now. Like anytime we get out of the vehicle, we're like, "Did you lock it?" Because we know how you don't like locking things. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, right. What was I asking? Oh, back 
back to you about my videos yeah sorry um no it's all good this is what th- my podcast is the worst there is no structure it's fine so as if we go off the rails that's encouraged um i wanted to talk about uh, a thing that i struggle with a lot and i'm sure a lot of other um creative people out there struggle with is like coming up with like ideas on a regular basis um do you have like a process for that like um actually oh, sorry let's let's rewind um <laughs> to people who who don't i feel like i didn't even introduce you that well <laughs> for people we're 10 minutes in, for people who have never watched your videos um or know about what you do do you want to give like a a little summary even though i hate doing that for myself but i'm gonna let you do it for yourself okay yeah sounds good i can do that um okay hello should i be talking to you (laughs) i'm like hello yeah i mean whoever Um, you want to talk to if you yeah okay i'm mia maples um my videos like i've been doing youtube now for like nine years so they've definitely taken some dramatic twists and turns i started in like the makeup diy space you know, right. like the time of Bethany Moda, I was like trying to be that. And then it quickly transitioned into like fashion, which is really interesting for me because I am not a fashionable person at all. And I feel like maybe that's why people connected with it was because I'm not like a fashion person, but I would judge clothes, right. you know, as the average person. Like I didn't have like these really high standards for like the fits or like the matching or anything I was just being like for everyday wear and then I just recently started doing like renovation and and interior design and I've been really happy with that because that's kind of what I like doing most right now um Mm. so like basically fashion makeup renovation and now randomly it's been like food and baking which is also (laughs) very fun (laughs) So I don't like to be just like one type of video. I like to just do whatever I find fun at the time. But when something does well, I like to also do more of that too. I think that's why fashion has become kind of a thing. Like I never thought I would have made like 10 prom dress videos, but here we are. (laughs) Yeah, that's gnarly. (laughs) Um, Wow. I mean, you nailed it. You you absolutely nailed the, the summary. Um, Thank you. I actually like just repeated one. I had, I thought I had a call with uh, my manager, but it ends up I turn on my Zoom and there's like 10 people in the Zoom call. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And it ended up, uh, it was like a merge meeting and they're all like, so explain yourself. And I was like, I literally (laughs) had like no makeup. I was like in sweatpants. I thought we were just having like a debrief and I was just like, Oh, no. So I have that on clock. Like, I've got that one. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Just in case. Yeah, I Just bring up case. like 10 other people in the Zoom. <laughs> yeah. <once>. Hello. <laughs> Explain what you do. Um, but yeah, in terms of ideas, I feel like when I... um, I have like the... Just the worst brain, I think, in terms of like coming up with things. And like, it's either someone needs to... Um, send me something to talk about or make a video about or like I like I genuinely think I have one good idea a year <laughs> that's really? it I think so I and mean, everything else is sent to me um and then I just like and I go okay that could be funny um but like an original fun like <laughs> good idea I think I have like one a year um but I feel like with your videos it's like every and you make like so many videos it's like it's very impressive um thank you so do you have like a process like do you sit down and are like like you jerry seinfeld it and you like write down like for an hour every day you just like write or like is it just like whatever comes to you like during the day um well i have like a notes app in my phone and then i'm just like constantly adding to it throughout like the week randomly mm-hmm. sometimes i'll wake up in the middle of the night and i'll have had like this like really like good idea in my sleep and i'll like run to my phone to write it down <laughs> and then in the morning i'll look and i'll be like oh my goodness i don't even remember writing this down but it's a good idea so right. that's like random ones come to me throughout the day or say like i'll be like out 
in the universe and I'll see something and it'll make me think of a video. And so then I'll write that down too. And then on like nice. probably once a month, I like to ask my followers like, do you guys want to see anything? And I'll jot down those. And sometimes like this is what I found really good is taking two concepts and putting them into one video because because I make so many videos, like right. I do two a week, I tend to think like one concept isn't good enough for just one video. So I like to try and take like two and put them into one. And then that way too, you can right. keep it really like fun and fast paced because you have a lot in one video. And yeah, so I think like right. for me, the idea, the problem hasn't really been thinking of concepts. It's been more finding a way to make it make sense in a video. like. For me, I would like yeah. to just do videos on almost nothing, you know, <laughs> like I think it would be fun to watch the grass grow and then like make a video, but not literally, but you know <laughs> what I mean? Like I always think like yeah, boring yeah. things are kind of fun. So it's my problems more like making something that people want to watch because I think right. everything is fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess it's a good way to, you know, to go about life then. I guess I feel well when you said that it reminded me that's how the Barbie and Bratz video uh came about for me because it was like I wanted to make a I've been getting so many like messages to make a video about a Barbie movie and also a bunch to make a Bratz movie so I was like I don't want to do two separate videos so I just you throw them in one and then uh, yeah like make it, it like a out. versus it's a good idea yeah um yeah there's some I have a I I do the same thing for um in my notes app but it's more so just like just like jokes or like joke premises it's never like my brain doesn't think in uh video ideas i guess um it should i by now it fucking should because it's <laughs> all i do <laughs> um but yeah would you have uh any tips for people out there who are like not you know they can't think of anything and they're getting too in their head about stuff yeah, I think like if you're going to use someone else's concept, I personally think that's fine, but I think you have to give credit. Like I think there's a lot of YouTubers who use other YouTubers' ideas, and yeah. I've never really had a problem when someone uses my videos unless it's like then don't give credit to it. So I almost feel like you don't even need like a creative mindset. You just need to be able to give credit where credit is due <laughs> because yeah. no one really cares if you put a 10 second like disclaimer, hey, I saw this person do this video right. and now I'm doing it because I thought it would be fun. And like no video is going to be the exact same. Like everybody's got different personality and everything. So yeah. If you're really struggling in the creative side, just give credit to other people if you really like their ideas. But I would yeah. also just say to do things that you find interesting because there's always going to be like the niche that agrees that something's interesting. Like when I first started doing pottery videos, I was like, nobody cares about pottery. Like I was like, but then it's <laughs> like you post it, you unlock like a new demographic of like pottery lovers and it's really nice. So right, something that you out think there. may not, yeah, they're out there and like something you think may not do well, <laughs> probably would do well or even... If it's not getting like crazy views, you at least found like a bunch of people with a common interest. Exactly, yeah. So just make pottery videos, guys. Come on. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> uh yeah, I think there's a lot of um Yeah, I think there's especially when like Vine was going around too, like there was a lot of people who would like they would make vines like inspired by someone and then they like put their they put their at in the caption or whatever to be like, this is based on their joke or something. And it's like, if you're giving credit, it's fine. But yeah, have but you if ever... it's like the exact the same, I feel like, because yeah. I was talking more in the realm of YouTube. Like if you see someone do like, oh, I bought my Instagram ads for a week. Like, let's say someone's the first person to do that. And then you do it, but you have different ads and everything. Then you've right. basically stolen the concept, but it's going to be a different video. But I've seen lots of TikToks where it's like the exact same thing. And in oh, that case, yeah. I'm like, okay, I think we need to think. We need to think a little bigger than that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen like, like one of your videos get copied and like they didn't credit you or anything? Like, has that happened personally to you? Yeah, definitely. Like that happens all the time. And Dang. it's like, I, 
It's not a huge deal though, because I find everybody always has like a different spin on it. You know, I think my yeah. my issue always comes from when the thumbnails are the same, because then I'm like, yeah, our thumbnails are the exact same. Like, just swap out my face and like your face, and then we right. have the same thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, that's that's frustrating. That's happened to me before too. Yeah, and it's like I try not to get, get too worried it, about but... it though. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's. It'd like, be pretty stressful if you're. Sorry. What? What quote? <laughs> the quote that's like, uh, imitation. imitation is the, yes, is the yeah, sincerest yeah, yeah. form of flattery. It doesn't feel like that, but I always just revert back to that. Makes me sleep better. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's true at all. But, no. uh, <laughs> it's definitely but, uh... not true at all. <laughs> But that's a thing we say, so it's fine, I guess. We say that. I definitely say that. <laughs> um, okay, I wanted to talk about... Um, so, uh, mo- moving on, same, sort of in the same realm of YouTube and stuff, but uh, you make a lot of videos with your, your family, and that's, and that's fun and cool. Um, was it... Were they like... When you started, like you know, popping off on youtube.com. Um, were they like, what was their like reaction to that? Were they like fully supportive and stuff? Or were they like a little apprehensive at first or what? Yeah, they were definitely fully supportive. Like it was a long road on YouTube. So like I said, I started when I was, did I say nine years? I, I'm not the best with the math, but I started when I was 13 making YouTube videos okay. So I'm 22. So nine. That's nine, right? 13 plus nine. It's close to nine. I. Okay. Should I actually check? Yeah, it's nine, right? Yes. Yes. It's nine. (laughs) Wait. Okay. What year is it? (laughs) Yeah, I know. Like COVID, I'm just like we're missing a year, a gap year in the middle. I'm missing in my brain. The next 45 minutes is us trying to. (laughs) <laughs> 13 plus 9 Trying to do simple math <laughs> okay no but it was like a long journey on youtube because when i started when i was 13 um like nothing really hit when it came to like views or anything like that but i just continued right. to keep working at it and obviously was getting paid nothing but i was a soccer ref in the beginning people are always like you were a youtuber your whole life i'm like i did my time I was a soccer ref for a minute (laughs) I did my time yeah (laughs) um but yeah so then when I when I graduated high school my I think I had around like 70,000 subscribers so it it was doing better but it wasn't like and that was 70,000 subscribers but still only getting like around 3,000 views which is good but it wasn't like enough to be like a job out of high school at that point so My parents were like, Mia, do you really love it? And I was like, I do. I love it more than anything on the earth. Like, that's kind of been the vibe my whole life. And so they were like, we will basically fund you. So basically, I was allowed to live at home still. Um, And they were going to pay for my food. Yeah, exactly. And they're going to let me take a year off because instead of jumping right into, like, university, They were going to allow me to take a year off to pursue it full time because I'd always been really like exhausted with high school because I'm not a naturally like quick learner when it comes to like school subjects. So it was a lot of work to like finish high school. So anyways, they told me I could do a year off. And in that year, like major things happened. I think I had like three videos in a row do really, really well. And then from there, it was just like the trajectory that's still that month, like right off is still my best month. Oh my God, just wait. My movie stopped recording. Oh no. Oh my God, just one second. I'm right in the middle of my awesome speech. (laughs) Okay, there. I redid my mic too. Okay. Okay, anyways, where was I? You had three Uh, videos that took off. Oh, yeah. And, like, that month still stands as, like, my best views and subscribers month was, like, that month where I really needed it to hit. Dang. 
Yeah, so then that was really good too because that month I got like a decent paycheck. So I put that paycheck like directly back into the videos too. So I was able to fund like a couple more videos and then those ones did well too. And all the money that was earned just got kept getting like thrown back into videos. Right. And so that year was like monumental because at the end of that year, my dad was like, so how's it going? Like, is this something <laughs> that you could do? And I was like, I think so. Like, I think I got to give it another year. And so now it's like wow. four years since then. So that year was major. <laughs> I needed that. <laughs> yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's like literally like best case scenario, right? <laughs> Yeah, but like even from that, like answering your question, they were really on board. I think they wanted it to work out for me too because I think a lot of people in school, like when they're fresh out of high school, they don't know what they want to go into. And I was very that. Like I didn't know what to go into. I just knew that I wanted to do YouTube. But then if it wasn't feasible, like if it wasn't doing well after mm -hmm. I had been doing it for like, five years it was starting to get real that this might not be for me yeah so they were hoping for me enough to support me for that year and when I was in high school they also supported me but so they were really on board and when it took off like they were like they were like almost more excited than me honestly uh -huh. that's awesome <laughs> Yeah, they've always been those parents that really want you to do like whatever you're passionate about. Like it wasn't about like, oh, you need to get into school. Not that school's bad or anything, because I know a lot of people like that's their passion. Like that's what they want to do. For but sure, for yeah. our family, like Tate has always been more into like music. So he pursued that. And it's just been like they're supportive of almost like the weird dreams like that might <laughs> that have more risk factor. You know, like if you do school to... You, you spend your four years in school and you go out, you'll probably get the job you were after. But with sometimes right. you can pursue like a band for four years and it goes nowhere. So it's a little bit more risky. Exactly. Yeah. I know that's a. Uh... Yeah, it must be t I can I can't even imagine it, but I, I, I it must be tough to have a kid who is like who wants to do this crazy thing. And you're like, you just want the best for him. But who knows if it doesn't work out and you have to deal with that. It's like. So thank God it worked out, is what I'm saying. Yes, That's what I'm I always very... say, too. <laughs> yeah, thank goodness. I don't want to think about if it didn't, to be honest. Yeah, Definitely I know. happier like this. I know, I feel the same way. I dropped out of university after two days um, to pursue comedy. So I, at first, I will say my mom was not happy, understandably so. Um, but it worked out, so it's all good. <laughs> you got to risk it for the biscuit, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> um, but is it, so like, is it, I want to, I don't know how to like word it without <laughs> making my life sound shitty, but uh, me, <laughs> uh, <laughs> filming with my parents is like my nightmare. Like I would never want to oh. do that because <laughs> they're just like, who knows what they're going to say, you know? Uh, okay. And so is it ever, were they ever like apprehensive to be in videos? Were they just like, fuck yeah, let's, let's get after it. Or like, let's like, or was it ever like awkward starting out, like filming with them or anything? Well, I feel like I could totally see where that could be awkward, but they were like my camera crew before right. they were ever in a video. So I don't know what's more awkward. Like my dad filming me while I'm doing like an outfit of the day. <laughs> True. <laughs> or him just being in the video, you know? To me, it wasn't... To me, the awkward came first. Like, when my dad would have to film me, like, spinning around right. in a dress for the outfit of the day. <laughs> versus, like, him just being in the video helping with the reno. True. And my mom, I mean, like, she has, like... She was, like, made for the camera. I'm convinced, honestly. Like, I'm just happy yeah, I, I had this channel to debut her on. Because where was <laughs> the camera her whole life? <laughs> She just yeah, and like she's a, she, I was gonna say she's very funny in every any video I see her and she's she's me and Jenna laugh all the time whenever she's on screen. Yeah, she's like she and that's how she is all the time. Like you literally she does not have like a turn off button. She's just <laughs> always at a hundred. And for her too, I think the integration happened slowly. Like at first when I started renovation videos, my parents would just be helping me in them. 
So they'd just kind yeah. of be in the background. And then it was like a casual, just like bring up to me basically pranking my mom in videos. So it wasn't, I guess it wasn't awkward. I think sometimes I have to like pull my mom back a little bit because she'll go on like these five minute <laughs> tangents about nothing. And I'll be like, we're just going to edit that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that's great. Yeah, I watched the one video where uh, your family members like pick out outfits Oh um, yeah, and the one that your me and Jenna were fucking laughing so hard. The one your dad picked out, <laughs> it was so insane. <laughs> I know, and it like was, everybody uh, on that video is like, you need to let him pick your videos for a week. I'm like, I don't think we need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was yeah the uh, egg shirt. I I wore it the other day actually, and he came in and he was like, nice shirt, and I was like, <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Um, yeah, my mom actually has been watching your podcast like nonstop. And cause no. since I told her that I was going to be on the podcast, she was like, on what? And I was like, here, I'll just show you. And she's been watching them like nonstop. She always walks by with her earbuds and I can like kind of hear like uh, no way. the earbud and she's listening to you. And she actually wanted me to tell you, <laughs> she wanted me to tell you that you have like a great voice. That's from her. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Yeah. She said, though, like, make sure he knows that you have a good voice for radio, but, like, not what is that thing where people say you, you have a face for radio? She didn't want that miscommunication. That's not okay. what she meant. Okay. She wasn't calling me ugly. She was just saying that I have a nice voice. Okay. Yes. Simple compliment. <laughs> that's so nice. Well, tell her I said, well, if she's listening, she might be listening to this, so thank you. She Thank will be you, listening to this. Mia's mom. <laughs> um, okay, so I have. Um, how the hell do I do this? Um, oh, okay, I have a, a little thing that I like to do on my podcast when I have guests. Okay, okay. It's not. <laughs> it's not. I didn't set out for this to be a thing uh, when I have guests, but it sort of just turned into it. Um, okay. I do. I make tier lists when I have guests on my podcast. Whenever they're on. Um, okay. To some, to something that we have a, 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 a like a mutual, um, I guess familiarity with. I guess I'll I say. Love that. So, we're both Canadian. True. Right. We both. Um, <laughs> imagine if you're just like, nope, no, I'm not. You're, <laughs> what are you uh, talking about? Just, just wrong. Um, no, we're both Canadian, and um, I imagine you know we're on the same. Sort of, we're both in our twenties as well. So, we um, such an old, <laughs> older guy thing. Yeah, same, same age, both in twenties, all good. Um, <laughs> uh, but we both watched television growing up. I imagine, right? Yes, yes. I'm like super excited. So I, <laughs> I was think tipped gonna... off on this a little bit. <laughs> okay, Jenna, Jenna told fucking me. ratted me out. All right. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna do a tier list. Okay, of old Canadian TV shows. Oh my god, I hope that I know these. I'm like looking at the bottom, like. Yeah, if you don't know these, that uh, that will suck. But I'm a fake um, Canadian. Well, even if not, then I-, I can explain them to you, and just by description, you can uh, you can rank them. This is terrible. I literally like know none of these. Seriously? Okay, I know. Oh. Prank Patrol. Okay. Okay. I know a few of them and I kind of recognize a few, but honestly, like I had a whole like list of Canadian TV shows that I had watched. Oh, dang. I should have asked you. (laughs) Gonna be a thing. (laughs) Like where's Boys vs. Girls on here? Room Makeover? I have never heard of that show. I think we, I think we just, I think we just watched different shows then. Okay. Um, I recognize some of these though. Okay. We'll, we'll go through and see how it goes. Um, okay. Did you ever watch Monster by Mistake? <laughs> Never? Um, like, it's kind of familiar, but <laughs> I've got to admit, like, that type of look yeah. freaks me out. Like, I'm very scared of claymation. Like, not saying that's claymation. Like, I can appreciate the amount of work that goes into it, <laughs> but that sort of cartoon or, like, look 
yeah. as a kid and still freaks me out. Well, early 2000s, like CGI, like computer generated stuff, 3D art, terrible, like terrifying. But <laughs> um, must have my mistake if you guys don't know or if me, if you don't know, it's a show. Uh, his name is this kid. His name is Warren and he gets a, a spell cast on him. So every time he sneezes, he turns into a big blue monster. And they get into all sorts of hijinks. And if they ever, if he sneezes on accident at school, he turns into a fucking monster, and it's hilarious. Um, so, based on that description, <laughs> where would you put it? Honestly, based on that blue thing, I'm yeah. putting it very low. I'm Dang. scared. Are you thinking D? I'm, I'm thinking like because I'm sure it's on here for a reason because you put it on here. Like I would happily give it a C or a B, but I'm I wouldn't I wouldn't watch it. I'm scared. Okay, okay I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it on C. Like, do you like it? I love Monster by Mistake. There, okay, he, put it up. Put it okay. up then. Okay, I'll put, yeah, it, put uh, it where you because I haven't seen it. You should put it where you want it. Okay. Well, if it was up to just we're doing this together. If it was up to just me, all these shows would be in fucking S tier. But um, okay, I'm the balancer. Yeah, but he <laughs> okay. has a okay. He does have a friend named Johnny. The ghost, and he's a ghost who plays the trumpet. So, okay, if that on. sweetens the deal, this. monster by mistake. Called? Monster by mistake. <laughs> Sorry, I'm we're on like a slight way. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! I, I literally hate this. <laughs> I've definitely seen this. Like, I'm looking at this picture. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the whole gang. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's B. We'll move on to the next one. We got a show called 16. You, did you watch 16? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Everyone watched 16. <laughs> this is the Teletoon's finest. Yes. Um, I've definitely watched it. I liked it, to be honest. It wasn't my go-to, but... Right. I... I loved six. I feel like I loved every show that I watched when I was a kid. I'm very easy to please, but uh, I loved 16. If you guys haven't seen 16, please go watch it. There's some very, just like a really well written show. Um, some great characters on there. Uh, Jude, who's like this stoner skater guy, but it was a kid's show, so they couldn't really come out and say that he smoked so much weed. Um, it was great. I personally, I'll put this S. But yeah, I would say for sure, because I remember too this being like more of like cutting edge. Like I remember yeah. sometimes they would say certain things and my mom would walk by and I would be like, <laughs> yeah. like it was like the mix of like child and teen show. I yeah. remember going to friends houses where we could watch this like nonstop and I was kind of like, OK, All right. OK, this is pretty crazy of me. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> Um, okay, next up, we got a show called Mystery Hunters. Did you ever watch that oh one? Oh, my gosh. Yes. Wait, hold on. I need to Google everything. Yeah, Google it up. big picture. Uh, while you do that, I'll explain it. Mystery Hunters was this, uh, this sort of nonfiction show where, like, these kids, uh, they'd go to, like, these different scary places, and they'd, like, do, they'd, they'd investigate, they'd do interviews with people, and they'd go ghost hunting sometimes. They'd look for the Loch Ness Monster, and they had this guy named Doubting Dave, and he would do these cool science experiments, and he was awesome. I loved it so much. Um, what do you remember about Mystery Hunters? I remember being scared of certain parts of it. Oh, yeah. Like, it got a little bit too real. Um, but I really liked that one. It made me think of, though, do you remember that that show it was like it was literally kids competing i thought like in my mind i thought it was like adults but i went back and watched a couple episodes and it was like children and it was like they ran through the jungle and they had to oh. like find the monkey statue yeah jungle run is that what that was called yes yeah. or, you watched that i'm guessing oh i yeah i watched it i is that called or is it is that the name of the fucking app <laughs> i think that's <laughs> Jungle Run is I actually yeah I think that wait hold on maybe it's Jungle Hunters oh Jungle Run no, yeah I was right Jungle Run that was on Discovery yeah. Kids yeah I love that show that that show was amazing why isn't that show on here I'm sorry I didn't know you watched how do you okay 
You didn't watch Monster by Mistake, but you watched Jungle Run. <laughs> that is way more yeah. obscure. <laughs> that was um, a great show. But for Mystery Hunters, the thing, it would be S, but I'm going to put it in A because I feel like no matter what they did or where they went, they never actually found the thing they were looking for. You know, it was right. always like, oh, I, I didn't find it, but I think it's there. So yeah, I, it was I'd, like a lot of lead up. Yeah, like they never actually caught. If a, if two kids caught the Loch Ness Monster on a fucking television show, that'd be crazy. So, I mean, I get it. but Yeah, that would have been ass then. Yeah. Um. Next up, we have a show called Yvonne of the Yukon. Did you ever watch that one? I don't think so. It's a very Canadian show. It takes place in the Yukon. In, in Yukon. So, um, you know, it's about this guy who was frozen and he wakes up like 100 years later and he's in his underwear all the time. Okay, I remember this. This is, again, I don't like, like, cartoons sometimes scare me it's just the amount of nightmares i've had where i become a cartoon oh what the hell yeah that's crazy (laughs) so i think this is one of those ones that my brothers would watch and i would just like leave the room right so okay yeah it sucks that most of these are cartoons (laughs) (laughs) you watch lots of cartoons yeah i did see like i was watching like boys versus girl prank patrol yeah jungle uh, run Jungle Run, yeah, exactly. Okay, you're you're more the live action person. I get it. Yes, um, s- yes. And now I'm like reality TV, so I feel like it kind of makes sense. Okay, yeah, that does make sense. So <laughs> I'm guessing you didn't see you you never watched the show Mega Babies. I'm sorry. Am I ruining your bit? <laughs> no, this is <laughs> very I've funny. Never seen it. <laughs> It's very funny that I was so confident that you've seen all of these shows and you've seen maybe one of them. I literally have seen this one as well. Same story, though. Like, yeah. as a kid, I was, I mean, I've already said it. Mega Just babies. <laughs> Mega babies, they're super powered babies and they would shit all over the place. They superpowers were like farts. So they were, it was okay. right up my alley when I was a kid. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they look... The animation, again, I think just got me as a kid. I really didn't yeah. like animation. It's very crude. I remember uh, every episode, they, like, poop so much that their diaper gets, like, super tall, like, as tall as, like, a building. <laughs> so I was... that Okay. So that, I'm going to have to ask my brothers if they watch these. Straight up, show your brothers this tier list. They'll be like, yep, 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 I've seen all of these. Um, <laughs> okay. I do recognize this little green thing. Nanalan. You remember Nanalan? Okay, hold on. I'm Googling. Nanalan is the creepiest little fucking puppet in the world. It was, it set, it took place in like her grandma's backyard and she like didn't speak any discernible language. Oh, um, yeah. I think I did watch this. Out of all of the scary things that I was scared of, I watched this. I, yeah, Nanalan used to scare the shit out of me because. You could tell, like, you could tell in like puppet shows that it's like they're re- some of the puppeteers are really trying to make it seem like they're not puppets. You know, they're trying to be like, oh, this is just an animal or like a, a, a character in this world. But you could tell there was like a hand literally right there in Nanal in Nanaland's fucking head. Yeah, just going I kind up and of down. remember that too. Like really seeing the mouth. Yeah, it's very, uh, very scary. I'm putting Nanaland in D. Okay, I'm pretty sure like that was one that I didn't that I didn't actually mind because it wasn't animated like it was just. <laughs> right. <laughs> then I'll put it in C. How about that? Okay, this one uh, I also recognize. Yeah, this is called Angela Anaconda. Uh, this animation style was very weird to me too because there was like real faces on them, as you can see. Yes, it um, reminds me of a book I used to read where like. She ate some like bad jelly bean and then like turned into a rainbow or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've right. read that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think if, I like this one. I was gonna say if you're scared of this is, I feel like this is what what someone would look like if they turned into a cartoon. So. Yeah, I feel like it. Let's go D on this <laughs> one. <laughs> um. Okay, Prank Patrol. You've seen Prank Patrol. I 
love this show. This Me too. has got to be S. Yeah, this is S. This is S for sure. I made a video about Prank Patrol like two years ago, I think, and I remember having a blast watching like a bunch of old episodes. Honestly, um, it's ridiculous because I watched that video and I remember being like, I remember this being so much better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there were some episodes where I was like, dude, they got them so good. But like, it's obviously just so staged and like not real. Honestly, I, I thought they like really were doing something with it. But then after watching your video, because through like adult eyes, I was like, uh, yeah. I don't even know how my parents sat through every single night <laughs> of this. I know. Yeah, it was just so, so cheesy. And I also didn't know that this was like, um, there's like a UK version. There's like an Australia version. Like there's different, there's like Andy isn't the only guy. Like there's a bunch of different Andys doing like different wow. pranks all over the world. It um, really took off. So, but that's S though. I, I, I watch that all the time. And I like so it's bad like wanted, wanted to be on Prank Patrol and prank all my friends. Man. Honestly, me too. The amount of pranks that I would just like think of. And I just knew I couldn't e- like execute them on my own. I like needed the team. Well, you do you do like you do like pranks sometimes on your channel to your <laughs> to your mom and stuff. I mean, it's not as like prank patrol level, but you're you know you're carrying on the legacy. I de- true, honestly, I'm living <laughs> my dreams. <laughs> um. Okay. Next, we have a show called Uh Oh. Did you watch? Oh Uh-oh? yeah. Yes. Yes. That's like they have the slime, right? Yeah, there's a guy named Punisher, and he pours yeah. slime on kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that premise is interesting. <laughs> it's very weird. Yeah, they like <laughs> lock you kids. If you guys haven't seen it, they lock kids in a. I think I made a video about this as well, like a while ago. But they you lock, did yes. They lock kids in like this plastic tube type of thing, and this guy in like a leather gimp suit like pours slime on them if their friend if their teammate gets an answer wrong. It's fucking crazy. Why'd they um, dress him like that? Like I just want to talk to whoever was in charge of that. Like yeah. that was too much. <laughs> it already was weird. And then like why is he gonna dress like that? <laughs> yeah, why not just literally anything else would have been fine. Literally if, just jeans and a T would have made it weird anyways. Yeah, just like a literally anything. Even if he had a, a shirt that said F- fuck you, it would have been more appropriate <laughs> for a kid's show. I, I did like it this show though. Like I oh, gotta yeah. admit. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It was it was great. I remember they had the you remember at the end where they had like the the live at, like people like run around in fields doing like a bunch of tasks to like win the thing. And if like I, and if that I team think... won, then the other team, like the corresponding color at the studio won. They'd... Yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. yeah. They I would, do remember that. They would do those in like, just like small towns in Ontario. So I was like, I fuck, I want to go to one so bad. I would love to go to an uh-oh screening. <laughs> oh my gosh, and I, never I did got not to. know that. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Right? I never got to go. But I'm feeling an S or an A up here. Maybe A because S... It would have been as if the Punisher would have a different uh, yeah. outfit. Honestly, back in the day, though, this would have been as for sure for me. Like in children' mm-hmm. eyes where like I didn't know that that was weird, it mm-hmm. would have been as. But now I have to say A. Yeah. If I had children's eyes in my head, then I, <laughs> then I <don't>. S. But <laughs> I don't. But I, sadly, I don't. Um, wow, we're gonna make such a clean tier list. I think I, this might have to go B just to fucking fill the spot. Just to like, <laughs> yeah, just to like make it look so clean. Um, this show is called Sticking Around. If you ever watched it, I have watched this one as well. Okay, this was mm-hmm. in terms of. I feel Canada just really liked the crude animation style. You know, like it was so like, kind of like hard to look at sometimes because he was so like poorly drawn i think that's what they're right. going for but um and yeah, they were going for that and it was, it was also easier for the artist it was like yeah. a win-win. and it's like sticking around their stick figures you know totally um, and i remember okay there was the one character in that show his name was dill and he would go oh, you guys and he was really funny so if you remember that <laughs> I don't remember that. Um, yeah, me neither. I, I'm just really set on B for this one. Just like there's no other place it can go, really. 
No, I don't think so. So we could discuss it further, but I really feel like I'm stuck. <laughs> It'd be, be a, you know, be a waste of time because we know where it's It'd going. It'd be a waste. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, cool. This is looking pretty good, actually. This is... You know, I, I like I said earlier, all of these would be S and A for me, but you know, it's we're doing this together. Yeah, um, I honestly would put that little green alien-looking puppet up higher if it was up to me. You would put Manalan higher. Yeah, I just remember like watching it a lot. I don't know why. Wow! If anyone is <laughs> still watching this for whatever reason, please go watch, go watch Manalan because it is, and then report back. Okay, because it's uh, it's it's a trip for sure. Yeah, I feel like any of these are kind of scary, honestly. Yeah. Except, uh, is it sixteen? Yeah. Oh, that sixteen. One. That's yeah. like just good, honestly. I feel like that stands the test of time. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just good. That's just good television. It's just good TV. It's just good TV. Um. Oh yeah, I could talk about TV shows all day, but um, what are we? Uh, what are we at? Like. 50 something holy moly we've been shooting the shit um, we're chatting yeah, we're, we're chatting it's whatever <laughs> um but i mean that's usually a, the time where I, I i sort of wrap it up if that's uh i think we covered some good ground today yeah i hope so how was <laughs> i how, mean i think so <laughs> <laughs> who knows um how was your first podcast what are, what are your thoughts first podcast was really good i feel like I feel like I wish I would have studied old shows better because honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. I did a uh, RuPaul's Drag Race quiz online yesterday. Like I did like five because yeah. I was like concerned that you were going to like question me and I was like <laughs> failing the test. I got like oh, wow. four questions right out of 25 on one, but all the questions were like who won challenge three in season two so i was like okay well hopefully okay. he doesn't ask me this so i was literally no, studying yeah. yesterday <laughs> i guess you should have studied <laughs> random ass fucking cartoons from 20 years ago honestly i should have that's oh, all right well. it, it was a good list uh i think that was honestly funnier that you didn't <laughs> know most of them so it worked out um, honestly like every single one i'm just like yeah, that's a shame. I was one of those kids that was kind of like a bit obsessive. Like I, instead of watching a new show, I'll just watch the same show over and over and over and over and over. Like I'm very, I'm still right. very that. Yeah, I feel that. That's all right. Teach their own. Now you can, now you got a bunch of new shows you can watch. If you yeah, ever, I'll have to <laughs> check them out. <laughs> yeah, if you ever feel like it. Um, well, <laughs> thanks for... Thanks for coming on the podcast. I appreciate it. It was a uh, I had fun. Did you have fun? I had fun. Thank you for having me. I still oh, can't anytime. believe I'm on the podcast. To be honest, it's yeah. I'm actually this is actually a prank, and uh, you're on prank <laughs> patrol. Okay, none of this podcast is never going up. <laughs> yeah, like I'll just message you. I'll be like, so when is the podcast going up? Uh, what podcast? Yeah. and then the the guy will run in yeah in the suit go. no that's the yeah. that's the other one <laughs> he's gonna run in and throw a pie in your face and the ninjas are gonna jump around the sun right the ninjas that's what it was uh well who where can Anyways. uh where can <laughs> where can people find you do you want to uh, plug anything oh plug okay um if you would like to watch videos that are probably nothing like this video, <laughs> go ahead to my YouTube channel. She means at good. Mia Maples. <laughs> you have to watch good videos instead of this. One. No, that's not <laughs> what I meant. I just mean like we're not going to be comparing Barbie and Bratz, even though I should really make a reply to that. Um, yeah. A but yeah, track. you can go to my YouTube channel. That's really all I pay attention to. Sometimes I post on Instagram, but honestly, the quality content is on YouTube. Like, my TikTok oh, yeah. is very bad. I deleted my Twitter. <laughs> my Instagram, I rarely post on, so YouTube. <laughs> YouTube's where it's at. Yes. Uh, well, Mia, thank you so much for coming on the pod. Um, <laughs> if you... Ah, <laughs> just wait, just wait. Sorry, sorry. I don't... My thing stopped recording again. Oh, it stopped again, okay. Sorry, sorry. I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, disappear, like, right on your outro. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, sorry. No, it's good that you're it's good that you're catching it right when it stops. I know. This is like not my my usual camera. This is like a different one that I thought because my other one overheats, so I didn't want that problem, but this one gives out at 30 right. like on the dot. Right. Um where was I? Right. Mia, thank you for coming on the podcast. Uh, you can like this, leave a comment, whatever you want. Subscribe to the channel. If you're listening on the audio, do whatever you want. I don't care. Uh, and yeah, go check out Mia and um, just, you know, keep an eye out for Andy and the, and the ninjas because you might get fucking pranked, dude. You never know. You just never know. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.